Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22, it says, Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. I want to start again all praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kodash. Double honest to our apostle Ezra Millstone and Shalom Wakasa Laha Bakyar, which is peace and mercy to the elect throughout the four corners, wherever you may be. I'm the brother Mar from the branch of GMS Cleveland. Come back at you another video. Lord willing to be edifying. And um, you know, I wanted to start it off with this scripture because uh, it's going to tie into um, you know some things I'm going to speak about concerning the times that we're living in. So when you read this back again, it's, uh, Proverbs 18 and 22, it says, Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtain a favor, and obtain the favor of the Lord. So if you are a man, yeah, you desire, a, a, you know, a wife, you know, children and things of that nature. But when you look at the times that we're living in, you know, we're, we're at the end, you know, it might be a hard pill to swallow from, you know, some brothers, hell, even you know, brothers like myself, but like, hold on, man. I don't know why it does that. But, um, if you, if the Lord did not give you a wife, don't, don't go seeking after one. And, um, cause these women, majority of them, and I'm, I'm telling you by experience, man, majority of these women are, are literal, are literal whores, literal, you know what I'm saying? You know, if, if for what I for, so you can get the, so you can understand the point. There's women that that you might so called deal with, and she might say she don't have a man, and then you can possibly find out, and then you know, well, technically that would make us us adulterers. Not saying that's the case for every situation, every woman you meet, but it's a lot of women out there that lie about their lives. You know what I'm saying? You know, so it's just. You know, like I said, we're just not in the time for trying to get a wife. And it's, it's, it, if you're a brother to have a wife, you definitely shouldn't be trying to get another one. You know, even though that's our God-given right and it's in the scriptures. But it's just, right now, it's just not wise, man. And like I said, if you're a brother, you know, don't have a wife, don't even try to get one. Now, if the Lord throw you some box, great. You know what I'm saying? Even if you got to pay for it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But just don't go looking for it, man. It's not these women... The way that they thinking and the, and the way that Esau has these women program, you know, with his media and his, you know, witchcraft. Excuse me. Like I said, it's just not worth it. Like I said, even though that is, a, I have, finding a wife is a good thing. It's a great thing. But like I said, these women aren't wife material. They're literal whores. Even if they're not on the stroll selling it, hell, and, and, Contrary to proper belief, if if some of you are not privy to, some of these women that you deal with, they they are selling it. You know what I'm saying? This shit, shit is wild, man. But let me get uh, let me get this real quick, man. This is uh Ecclesiastes chapter eight. I'll start at uh. I start at nine. It says, "Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of, of the life of thy vanity, which he hath given thee under the sun. All the days of thy vanity, for that is thy portion in this life, and in thy labor which thou takest under the sun." Right. So if you, you know, basically when you're, you know, when you come of age as, as a young man and you, you know, you, um, you know, eventually get a wife, you know that that's the portion in this life that you know that we're tied to and that. The Lord has, you know, given us, but like I said, the majority of our women are whores. They're not wife material. And on top of that, we're not even in those times to be trying to marry. You know what I'm saying? Literally, it's, shit is hitting, shit is about to hit the fan. And it's, it's already hitting the fan, but it's about to get worse. The Lord has not provided, uh, you know, the, um, the, the proper atmosphere, if you will, to be trying to get a family. You know what I'm saying? Uh, trying to get a wife, let a, let alone a family. You know what I'm saying? So that's my advice. Just leave, leave, you know, leave these women be. And if you're a, a, a brother to have a wife, like Paul said, those that be, those that have wives be as though they had none. Like I said, because the times that we're living in, you, you know, that's shit. You know, that, that can and will more than likely um, 
become a liability. You know what I'm saying? But you know, the Lord's going to, uh, you know, cover who whom he uh that's destined, you know, for salvation. So if you're a brother that have a wife, you know, don't get too caught up in the damn what if, what if this happened, what if that happened, and the Lord gonna protect, man. He gonna provide. He's gonna cover. He's gonna do the uh, saving. But let me get to this last scripture, man. This is uh oh yeah. This is uh Ecclesiastes three and one to everything there is a season and a time. It says to every purpose under under the under he, under the heaven, right? To everything there is a season and to and a time to every purpose under the, under under the heaven. So there's times for this and there's times for that and there's not times for this and there's not times for that. And like I said, we just so happen to be in a time of not you know not marrying, even though brothers will do that. But, you know, like I said, just reiterating, it's not wise. You know what I'm saying? If you're burning, you know what I'm saying? Like Paul said, then, you know, then marry. You know what I'm saying? Get you, you know, get you a little peace. You know what I'm saying? But don't be trying to, you know, you know, make anything here longevity. Because uh, that's what these women are all about, too, at the end of the day, man. They're all about the now, the this, the current. This current kingdom, you know, when we talk about the kingdom to come and this, that, and the third, they can't see it. Like, they can't visualize it. They can't see us in power. They can't see this devil going down. They just can't see a world beyond this, you know? This is verse 2. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up, right? So there's times, um, you know, and all this too, man, you have to uh, use with discernment, you know what I'm saying, of course. But when you look at, you know, the environment that we're, you know, we're in, you know, just you just got to ask yourself that question personally and, you know, and you, um, and you use your discretion, you know what I'm saying? I'll just say that. Uh, it says, verse four, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, right? Uh, are we in a time to be, you know, laugh, you know, laughing and dancing? Now, do brothers get around and trying to have a good time? Yeah, you know, what I'm saying it might be last here and there, but like Scripture saying, Proverbs at the end of that mirth is uh sorrow, you know, at the end of that laughter is sorrow. You know, what I'm saying, but soon, man, uh, that time to weep is, is is approaching, and it's it's you know, judging from the atmosphere and judging from the prophecies that's coming to coming to pass and. Looking at you know the news is is definitely looking like you know shit might pop off before the elections or around the elections, and Lord willing, man, I pray it do, I really do, man. As there's a light, man, you cannot win here. There is no, um, there's no, there's no winning here. No matter how good you play by the rules, and it's just a hell with this place, man. You know what I'm saying? It says verse five. It says a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones uh, together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. And real soon too, we about to. That's about to come to pass too, because what we're embracing what you know, Jake to come into the fold, which is really Yahweh Bashim Shah. But that time from embracing is about to uh, come to an end as well, because the Lord's about to shut up the door, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the scriptures do speak about. Uh, with that door, you know what I'm saying? Let me see. I see I stand at the door and knock. Yeah, where is this? I stand at the I stand at the door and knock. Yep. This is uh, Revelation 3 and 20. Behold, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him. And it says, and he with me, man. Right? So if you, if you're, if you're uh, privy to this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, you know what I'm saying? Rather you heard on the internet or and some, you know somebody that knows the Israelites and they're trying to present to you the truth and you're rejecting it, that's the Lord, uh, presenting that door to you, you know what I'm saying, and he's knocking, so you can open it, you know what I'm saying, you can, what, you know, become, uh, you know, enlightened, you know what I'm saying, so it says, if any, it says, if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him, and, and will sup with him, and he with me, right, so 
it, it's likened unto you basically reaching out to you how about she now shot via his men rather than on the internet or in person you know what i'm saying and and, and you like bow down your ear to to um to hearken unto this knowledge man so you can get this so the lord can sup with you you know what i'm saying and then you know, you know you come by the camp and you take heed and you listen you know what i'm saying you be quiet and ask questions and then you that's the lord supping with you through us you know what i'm saying so um Uh, going back, uh, it says verse six. It says Ecclesiastes three and six. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. All right. It says a time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace, man. So, is it? Are we in a time of loving and and and, and peace? No, we're in a time of what? You know, people hating one another. You know, the, the love of many waxing cold. And soon we're approaching a time of war, man. You can see it. It's 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 in the air, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just wanted to make this quick video, man. And uh, you know, Lord willing, man. We just uh we get out of here soon, man. Cause you know, brothers is broke as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Struggling, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a lot of things his brothers are dealing with health, you know what I'm saying, spirits, you know what I'm saying, and you know. We just need deliverance, man. So, hey, with that, I'm going to say shut up one.